Hey, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? I just checked into the Fairfield by Marriott Osaka Nama in Osaka's Nama district and they upgraded me to a superior twin room. So I'll give you a quick tour. Uh, closet space as usual, a little more hangers than normal, which is always appreciated. Uh, very small like uh, bench space for any clothes, shoes, that kind of stuff. Over here on the left side, we have a separate restroom and we have a sink mirror plenty of towels and amenities for you to use and then over here is a shower it's very small But it's clean and it gets the job done. But it's only about two and a half feet wide. So <laughs> into the room. It's uh, two twin beds. They also have options with uh, a double bed, I believe. But it's very clean, very modern. Yeah, plenty of charging ports, clock, Bluetooth speaker, anything you need. And then the Superior Twin Room also has uh, a couch, a small table, coffee machine, water kettle. And then two complimentary bottles of water per day, as usual. And the views are not spectacular. I'm on the 13th floor, and there's 14 floors total. So I'm pretty much at the top. The views, however, I can see over all the surrounding buildings. Um, and then in the distance, over this way, you can see Dotonbori. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? This is Bryce from Luxury Travel Japan and I just wanted to give you guys some quick information about the Fairfield by Marriott Osaka Nama Hotel in case you guys are planning to stay here when you visit Osaka. So first of all, uh, check-in time is 3 p.m. and check-out is at uh, 12 p.m. the following day. However, uh, I'm a Titanium Elite member with Marriott so I contacted them through the Marriott Bonvoy app to see if I could get an early check-in and I was able to get a 12 p.m. check-in so that there wasn't too much of a wait time uh, between check-out and check-in um, at the next hotel. And yeah, so that was super convenient. Um, check-in was very, very um, easy. Um, no one was in line when I got here, so it wasn't too bad. And the staff was very friendly, um, super friendly. English was great. Um, very quick check-in process they just gave me you know run down on the amenities and as far as uh, Bonvoy uh, status recognition goes um, as a titanium elite member I got 500 uh, Bonvoy points or you can get a 500 yen welcome amenity 
Uh, they have like a small little pantry market uh, in the lobby where you can get like a drink or a snack, uh, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, uh, breakfast is not included um, with the Bonvoy status. Uh, they mentioned it was 2,400 yen. And uh, if you're platinum elite or above, you get a 20% discount. However, uh, that is kind of pricey considering, um, you know, this is Japan. They have a lot of, uh, you know, mom and pop restaurants or just big chains outside on the street. Uh, we can get a quick meal for about six or 700 yen. So it's about a third of the price. Um, but I don't know what the breakfast looks like, so it might be worth it if it's like buffet style. Um, I will let you know. Uh, what else? Amenity wise, um, there's a gym on the second floor, which is very nice if you're looking to stay in shape. Uh, and as far as value goes for the hotel, uh, it is a very nice Fairfield, uh, one of the nicer ones that I've seen. Uh, it is a newer one though, but I really like the design. It's very modern. And uh, like I mentioned, I'm on the 13th floor out of 14, and the views are. They're, they're good views, uh, but nothing spectacular. You don't have any like famous uh, you know, landmarks that you're looking at. You're just looking at other buildings. Um, and mostly they're apartment buildings, so not, nothing fancy. And another piece of information. Uh, so it's a 10 minute walk from Osaka Namba uh, Station. The pavement was a little uneven, so if you have a suitcase and you're planning to walk uh, to the hotel. I uh, do plan accordingly. Uh, maybe if your suitcase wheels aren't as uh, good as they need to be, uh, it is a little bit of a trek, so do plan accordingly. Uh, but it is close by to uh, Dotonbori, which is a very famous spot in Osaka. I'm sure you've heard of it if you've uh, done additional research um, before your trip. However, um, it is very, very busy. So, but that's part of the fun of travel. Lots of street food, lots of shopping. Uh, very, very fun area. Uh, as far as like value for money goes, uh, I'm staying on a Saturday. So I looked at the price and it looks like it's 32,186 yen, which is quite pricey for a hotel uh, in Japan of this caliber. Um, points wise, um, it was 25,000 yen for my stay. Uh, because the 32,186 yen uh, in today's currency exchange, it's about 216 US dollars, uh, which is quite pricey, I think, because you can find a lot of uh, budget hotels in there.